That's the ratio between this diameter and the circumference. And that's where pi comes from. That's why, that's why we learn it. And we use pi to math, like it's gonna be a nice shortcut to mathematically calculate um, certain things with circles. And it's gonna be useful for the circumference as well as I'll show you today, which is, you know, the real focus of today's lesson, the area, oh, here it is, the area. Because the area formula that we ask you as to memorize in middle school, I mean, this is always the area formula, I guess. It's, it's not a middle school special thing. Uh, in seventh grade, though, the area, the, the formula that you should know by seventh grade, I guess is what I was trying to say, is that the area of a circle, okay, with radius r is pi r squared. So let's look at what that means. I'll move you up here. <laughs> I have too much fun with this, but you know, what else am I doing? Uh, so look at this, this circle in front of me. If I wanted to find the area of this circle, right? And let's, let's give this circle a, a cool outline. We'll go with, I don't know, purple like, or pink again. And let me like loosely draw, oh, let me like loosely draw this circle. So let's say over here is a circle. And I want to know how much paint it'll take to paint this circle. I'm going to pause for a second and glance at the comments, see if there's any people being like, I can't see or I don't understand. And <laughs> someone is requesting red. Uh, yeah, I can, I can use red for that. I'll use red for my next, the next thing I use. Okay, so here are this pink circle, right? And what's our formula? As a reminder, the formula is that we're going to practice today is pi r squared okay and supposedly if i use pi r squared i will find you know the area of a circle right but why like where does that again like it's cool to memorize and you probably should memorize it but i kind of want to discuss like what is happening mathematically when you do that well here's what i realized recently and thought about so we'll use red as requested so here i'm going to put a uh my center point i think is around around here that's close enough right okay the center so what is the radius of my circle it's you know from here to here okay do we get that do we all accept that that's the radius good now what is my radius squared like let's look at just just radius squared what does it mean if you if you've been to our previous lessons a bit of a review what does it mean when you square something well when you square something you multiply the base like like you multiply it times itself so if i multiply this radius and let me, let me label it, this radius here, and I multiplied it times itself, okay, right, like, like an equal, an equal r, see it's like r and r, how much room would I fill up? I would fill up a square amount of r, okay, do you see that? Like one whole square of r, but you'll notice like a circle, like my larger pink circle, I can't just take this one, see how I created a, a now radius square? Let me, let me grab it, okay. So this, if I made four of these, one, two, three, oops, it's not perfect, four. In fact, I can see my, my center was a little off, okay. Uh, what do you notice? What are some things you notice here? Well, that, you know, if this had been a larger full square, right, how would I find, like, what would the, what would the area be of one, two, three, four? Are these, like, just like the larger red square? Well, this larger outside red square, the area of it would be four. Hopefully this is still on the camera. It's hard for me to tell. Oops. The area of this, this you know, let me, yeah, just this larger red square. Because you see how it's got four of these? It would be four r squareds, right? Do you get that? Because because like this area here in here is r times r, so that's just this one chunk, okay? So then, if you had four of those, click click click, you take your r squared r squared times four, okay? But now here's where the circle part comes in. I'm gonna erase the R. You, you understand these lines mean R. I mean, no, I won't. I'll, let's leave the R's here. 
<laughs> so R, R. Uh, but if we look at the circle, what's what's different compared to like this larger red square? Well, what's different is the circle is missing some space. Do you see that? Like, like that's that's the difference between this circle, like all this yellow space here. I'm gonna color it in. This stuff is all cut out. So we know that the area of the circle has to be less than 4r. Okay, it has it, it can't be it can't be more than 4r because I'm literally cutting out all this this extra yellow stuff. Do you see that? So I mean, if you if you measured it mathematically, you would find out how much r squared is left. It's not four, it's more than three. It, it, it's more than, you know. Let me let me go back to pink because we're just talking about the circle. Um, it's more than three r squared, slightly more. It's you know three point, so it's not not three r squared. It, just this this pink circle we would find has three point one four or you know about three point one four radius squareds. Like like that that original square radius by radius square. We can't, we can, we can't fill four of them, but we can fill about 3.14 of them, okay? Or another way of saying that is we can fill pi, pi of those radius squareds, okay? So that, that's where that formula comes from, just so you know. Like, that's what we're mathematically doing, is we're taking this radius, we're squaring it, we're like multiplying it times the second radius, but then we're realizing that it's not actually a full square, we're missing all that extra space. When we're missing, you know, whatever four minus pi is. That's that's how much the yellow space is. Okay, so that is kind of hopefully will help you picture this better. I because when I was a kid, you know, again, just so many formulas to memorize, and then like pi r squared, and with like diameter or with uh, you know, when we just talked about circumference, let me move you back. We just talked about circumference, and technically, you know how circumference is is two pi r because another way you could write circumference is two d or I'm sorry, is pi times the diameter. You could write it as like pi times just the diameter because the diameter, this is a D. The diameter is two radiuses, two Rs, since you know one, one R is half of it. So two of them makes a full diameter. So there, to me, when there's just too many formulas, it helps me a lot to you know, work to understand the reasoning behind the formulas a little bit. Okay, so hopefully that helps. And what time is it? 